Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to see how to configure Cisco router as DNS server. Also, we will see how to configure Cisco router as DNS client. For this demo, I am going to use this topology. I have already configured IP addresses to all these devices. Router 1, I am going to configure as DNS server. Router 2 and Router 3, I will configure as DNS client. And this Ubuntu PC, I have already configured as DNS client. I also configured OSPF in all the three routers. Now I will go to Router 1's console. Here you can see from the show IP interface brief output, I already configured the IP addresses. And I'll show you the routing table also. So I put out. Here we can see the connected and local and OSP of routes. Now we will configure this router as DNS server. We are going to use these commands here. Uh, this router one I will configure as both DNS server and DNS client. I'll go to the global configuration mode. First, we will configure as DNS client. So we have to use this command IP domain lookup. And we have to use the name server command. We are to we are going to use the router one as DNS server, so we have to use router one's IP address here. Ten dot zero dot and dot one. It will use its own IP address here. And we will configure the domain name also. IP domain name, I will use ipideas.com. Now we have configured this router as DNS client. Now we will see how to configure this router as DNS server. We will use this command, ipdns server. This command will enable this router to act as DNS server. Now we have to create the records. So here we have to map the domain name and host name to IP address. The command for that IP host, host name R1, IP address 10.0.10.1. The same way I will configure for all other routers also. Router to 10 dot 0 dot 20 dot 2 and router 3 30 dot 3 router 3. Now we have configured with host name. Now I will configure it with fully qualified domain name. Router one dot it ideas dot com. For router two, router two dot it ideas dot com. For router 3, router 3 dot it ideas dot com. Now we have configured this router as DNS server. Next, I will go to R2 console. This R2 router I will configure as DNS client. So I'll go to global configuration mode. 
use IP domain looker. IP name server. Here we have to give the DNS server IP address. That is our R1 IP address. 10 dot zero dot 10 dot one. One more command. IP domain name. Here we will give itideas.com. Same way we will configure to router three also. I'll go to R3 console now. IP domain lookup. We'll go to global configuration mode. IP name server. And that's zero dot and that one. This is our own IP address and IP domain name. IP ideas dot com. Now I have configured router to router three as DNS client. Next, I will go to Ubuntu PC console. Here we can see the IP address already configured. I'll show you the detailed IP configurations here. Here we can see the IP address and network and gateway and our DNS server IP address I have referred here. That is our R1 IP address. Okay, now we will check whether all our DNS configurations are working. I will go to R2 console now. From R2 we will check. First, I will check the connectivity between R2 and R1, that is our DNS server. I will bring the IP address of DNS server, that is 10.0.10.1. It is working. So now we will check whether R1 or DNS server can resolve name to IP address. So I will bring, instead of IP address, I will do host name. It is pinging and I'll try with R3. Yeah, it is resolving now. Next, I'll try with fully qualified domain name r1.itideas.com. It should work. It is working. Next, I'll try with R3. It is also working. Okay, now I will go to R3 console. Meantime, I will capture the packet between R3 and R1. I'll go to R2. I'll go to R3 console now. Okay. I'll check the connectivity between R1 and R3. Ten dot zero dot ten dot one. It is working. Now we'll check with host name instead of IP address. R1. Sorry. I made a mistake. I'll ping R1 now. It's working. And R2 now. This is working. R2.itideas.com. It's a fully qualified, qualified domain name. And R1 also I check. It's also working. Now we will check the captured packet. I have filtered with DNS. So we will check here. This packet we will check. This one. The source IP address is our R3's IP address. Destination IP address is 
or DNS server IP address 10.1. Uh, R3 sends the standard query request to R1. R2.itideas.com. That's where it is. What is the IP address of R2.itideas.com? Then it will receive the response from our server. That is why the source is changed here 10.1 and the destination is R3's IP address. It got the response. So our DNS server will resolve the IP address for the r2.itideas.com. It gives the IP4 address that is 10.0.20.2. That is the IP address of R2, R2 IP address. Finally, I'll go to the Ubuntu PC console. We will try from here. First, we will check the connectivity between DNS server. That is 10.0.10.1. It's working. Now we will resolve the name to IP address using our DNS server. First, I will try with r1.itideas.com. It is able to resolve. Then I'll try with auto auto.itideas.com. Our DNS server is resolving that. Then R3. The R3 also it result from our DNS server. So far we have seen how to configure Cisco router as DNS server and DNS client. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel.